Minecraft. What's up, guys? It's the Amazing Tapman here with another Minecraft video, and today we're going to be learning how to make these lights. In the previous video, I mentioned lights that worked like this, and a lot of you guys suggested it. So when you press the button, the lights will turn off. If you press them again, the lights will turn on. It's even universal for several buttons. So if you press this button, it'll turn off after a short delay. And then I press it again, it'll turn back on. And if I press this one to turn it off, the other one will still turn the lights on. So it really doesn't matter which side you start on. So, without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. So in this one, I'm going to be doing something slightly different than what I normally do. Because in the previous videos, I gave you a parts list and then built the thing step by step. But with these lights, there's no definite way to make them. There are plenty of ways to make it. And so, I'm going to explain the basic idea of how these systems work so that you can further understand. So the way my system works is we have a toggle flip-flop right here where when there's one item inside of it, the item will end up in one of two droppers. Right now it's in the right dropper, meaning the power source is on. And when you press the button, it makes it set the power source is off. You press it again, the power source is on. And the way it works is that this dropper here is facing right here, and this dropper is facing in this direction. So, doing that will result in the button, when you press the button, it will send the signal, which will shoot into this hopper, and then it will travel into this, and when you press it again, well, I already did that. When you press it, so it will shoot out, and then go into this one, and then when you press it again, it will shoot out of this one and go into here. And that's basically how it works. So, I'll, let me explain quickly how to make one of these. So, the first thing you're going to do is, from your power source, you want to place a repeater. Then, from your repeater, you want to face one of these three blocks, doesn't matter which one, and place a hopper facing towards in front of your repeater from that direction. Then, you want to place facing to the right of the way the repeater, the first dropper, is facing. So, the first dropper is facing this way. You want to place your next up dropper facing this way, if that makes sense. Then, you want to place a uh, hopper here and a hopper here, redstone comparator coming out with a repeater, and then drop a block into one of the hoppers, and that is it. And with that, it should be functional. You don't need to change any of the repeater ticks. And the reason for the delay is because while this is activated, this hopper is locked, meaning no items can come through it. And I'm going to have to figure out a better design, but for right now, this is the only one that seems to work. So the way I connected my buttons to the light is by using half slabs. So I take the redstone signal here, a block here, which is one of the important ones. These can be anything you want. Then here you have to have a half slab, and that's pretty much the only one you need. And while it looks like it's not connected, it actually is. Then I want to place one more slab right here, then place your repeater. Then, like I did earlier, you want to make the thing like I did originally. So, like this, and then like this, whoops, and like this. You then want to take a redstone comparator, and a block or a repeater. Then here's the important part. If you place your item, if you place it going into the comparator like this, or really you can just do it like this, it's going to connect into the comparator so that when you actually place an item inside of here, it's going to create, oops, that place two. It's going to cr create a never ending loop, and there's no way to stop that. So, to solve that, you should replace this with a solid block. So, then everything should be in order. So, you press the button, and it turns off, press the button, it will turn on. To connect the second line, you must first bring the signal up, and then bring it around the, you want to bring it around the rest of the circuit. And just connect it up. And test it out, you might need a repeater, because a signal, like I need a repeater here. And like that, it should just have a slightly longer delay, but also work. And with that, our construction, our light is working. Today is not my day for speaking. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. So thanks for watching, guys. This is the Amazing Tapman, and I'm tapping out. Peace.